Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, End Times Visions. I'm Randall R.R. English Simple Gematria 94, I think it is. Which, if you look up Endure in the Bible, there's 94 verses. <laughs> so I must endure, right? <laughs> anyway, going to the Bible, doing a search for desolation reveals things, at least to me. And I'm still studying and learning too. Um, basically, Old Testament prophecies, I don't even need to look at, actually. And uh, desolation is not even in the book of Revelation. And we have uh, basically all five of them right here. Now, the definition of desolation is a kingdom divided against itself. A city or house divided against itself is desolate. Like Jerusalem. So... This is what Wikipedia says about Jerusalem, just briefly. It is one of the oldest cities in the world and is considered holy to the three major Abrahamic religions. Both Israelis and Palestinians claim Jerusalem as their capital as Israel maintains its primary governmental institutions there and the state of Palestine ultimately foresees it as its seat of power. Neither claim is widely recognized internationally. Now why is that? Well, here's a little bit, but I'll go to this one here. In 1947, the United Nations, now where did the United Nations come from? We'll get to that. Declared that Palestine, then under British mandate, why did the British have a mandate before the UN? Should be split into separate Jewish and Palestinian states. And that Jerusalem, so from its inception, it is divided. Those that helped establish, it was divided. It was divided. So, there it is. The city is divided. It's desolate. So, should be split into separate Jewish and Palestinian states. And that Jerusalem, the holy city coveted by both groups, should be placed under international jurisdiction. What jurisdiction is that? Is that the air, the sea, or the land? Well, an international jurisdiction would be the air or the sea, and possibly the land. See, that fits this trust. In 1302, Boniface VIII claims temporal and spiritual powers himself, considered the third most evil pope in history according to his deeds, and creates this testamentary first expressed trust, which in succession creates the whole thing, which begins the air jurisdiction on earth, owning the heaven and all souls dead or alive, spirits and angels, Ephesians 2.2. 2. And creates the sea jurisdiction, which is an international in nature. So they want to go international. That's the British. That's why the British had control over it. I guess they want it back. I don't know. Well, anyway, the UN is born out of this trust also along with the United States, I do believe. But uh, when we get down to it, the head of it is Rome. It's the empire of the city, which translates to Mystery Babylon, the great city, Mystery Babylon, divided into three parts, Revelation 16, 19, and so forth. So this basically reveals to us and myself that something was going on back then. Now, what's interesting about the year, the date of this, is this is also just before the Black Plague breaks out. You had the Black Plague, and then a second Black Plague, and I know the second wave was in the 1350s, I think. And people, like Jews, were actually blamed and persecuted for the plague, because it's true. Just like in the First Crusade, I know for a fact that those that went on the Crusade actually killed Jews and destroyed Jewish settlements on the way. So, they were trying to take Jerusalem by force and by arms. They weren't trying to help anybody, <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, let's go take Jerusalem since we're down here, right? Let's take back the Holy Land. It's ours. So, they control the air, the sea, and the land. And when you get down to this trust, I'll show it. It has It, it is the largest corporate conglomerate and interlocking trust directed on Earth with four administrative hubs operated as independent international city-states. The Empire of the City, 
independent international city-states. They're above us and above the kings and above the nations and everything. This tr trust operates out of the Vatican, Westminster, Washington, D.C., and the United Nations. So, the United Nations declared, then under British mandate, do you get the picture? I hope so. Anyway, desolation, a city, house, or kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. So, what's going on in Israel? Well, Jerusalem's been divided for a long time now. And they were divided at this onset. So, that is desolation. So, when did the abomination of desolation set up and go forth to make desolate? That comes in the future, does it, when Israel's already divided? Jerusalem's divided, I mean? The city is divided since its inception. So, Matthew says, the stand in the holy place, but Mark says, we're standing where it ought not. And then let them be in Judea, flee to the mountains. Is this future tense, or is this past tense? Well, in my understanding, I, I get the sense that this is past tense already. And again, Luke eleven seventeen, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And a house divided against itself, divided against the house, falleth. Now this says, when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies. Well, Jerusalem was compassed with the armies, I would think, in the Crusades. And they failed. Then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. So after the crusade, the last one in 1290, 1291, 1302, why they create a trust at the Vatican, which puts everything under their domain and dominion. So we wrestle not with spiritual or with the flesh, but with spiritual wickedness in high places. And the beast rose up out of the sea, and then the beast rose up out of land. It seems to fit like a T. Because along with the Spanish king, when you look at South America, Central America, it's all Spanish. Because the Spanish king had rule over the lands around the world. Somewhere he lost that. That's why North America speaks English. <laughs> and Roanoke disappeared and Jamestown happened, okay? Roanoke disappeared without a trace, by the way. Nobody knows what happened to it. It just up and disappeared without a trace. Um, so we have Ephesians 2 2 to him was given the power of the prince of the air So we have here what would be called the final Antichrist the abomination of desolation that sets up and Goes forth to make desolate Well, that had to happen back be, back then because this is what created the United Nations Which created the modern state of Israel divided and the city divided Bingo Any questions? Now, there's some things I might not know or understand, but as I travel through the Word of God trying to understand the end times and trying to blot out a lot of information that is put out, if I don't know it in the Bible, then I'll find out in the Bible for myself. That's my philosophy. <laughs> I'll look to the Word of God and see what it says and try and understand it for myself. And it seems the Holy Spirit will lead and guide the truth. Just keep asking the Lord to show you and help understand what his word is saying ask the Lord I think he will will help you out because I must be on the right track <laughs> yeah everyone thinks they're right right well I keep coming across things that seem to in my mind suggest that this abomination of desolation was set up in 1302 because right after that we have the black death we also have the book of nature published and then Copernicus the compendium spheres the uh, the heliocentrism, the Darwinism, uh, all born out of like the Book of Nature, and that came about in the 14th, 1300s also, and all this other stuff came forth. So you can see this is in the time of Copernicus right here, when Copernicus and then Galileo are putting forth that the Earth doesn't revolve, the the sun doesn't go around the Earth, the Earth goes around the sun actually. Which is contradictory to Genesis and the Bible. It's, I mean, to me, I, I don't know how else to say it, but it's like enlightening, mind-blowing, understanding 
some of this stuff, it, it seems to fit. And uh, I wonder if anybody else else understands it like this. Anyway, back to Jerusalem. Uh, so, oh shoot, it's messed up. But it says it comes increasingly divided in the years to come. Jerusalem become increasingly divided and this position increasingly difficult to resolve as Israel and the Palestinians move toward a potential settlement in 2000. It's 2021, people. The issue of Jerusalem remains it is difficult. And what does the Bible say about those who make Jerusalem a burdensome stone? They shall be cut to pieces. So those who make Jerusalem a burdensome stone shall be cut to pieces. Yeah. I don't know what to say other than we must be near the end times and in the book of Revelation. So there again, there's more evidence and testimony, at least from my end, that I do think the abomination of desolation meant for the house of it. Because you got to understand, if, you know, I don't understand why people know and what they don't know. So this is just me going through things I know. Jesus told Peter, gave him the commission to watch after the lost house of the sheep of Israel. And he said it like three times, watch after my sheep. So the four Gospels are basically more or less to that house of Israel. Whereas Revelation is more like for the rest of us in the end times. So some of these things took place, I think, before now. That's all I'm saying. That the abomination was set up in the 1300s and has now created Israel, and has Israel, and or at least Jerusalem, divided since its creation in 1947-48. So Jerusalem's been divided for pretty much the whole time. The city. Well, that's desolation, according to the scriptures. That is desolation. Where's that abomination of desolation now? Uh-huh. Thanks for watching, everybody. Godspeed and grace to you.